your new film. How does it feel to be here on the pink carpet? I love the pink carpet. The pink carpet's the best. I, I didn't know about the pink carpet, but I'm quite blown away. You know, people think you might go to premieres all the time. I mean, this is more exciting for me than it is for anybody is there. The so it's amazing. So Bridget why Jones was Bailey. this the right time the to bring Bridget back to the big screen? Are at it. Well, uh, I don't know. I, I, so for Bridget has always related. Um, Bridget's and story and has always. I don't know how I'm going to answer this. Hang on. <laughs> Why was this the right time? I have no idea. Um, uh, it just felt like the right time. Bridget's always reflected my life back at me. And, um, you know, she did in when I was in my 30s and I was out there on the Raz with no man and no kids. And now she does again about being pregnant. All the humiliations and exhilaration of being pregnant in your 40s, I went through as well. And so um, it's just, it's, she just always relates to me. I always relate to her. And why, why so what was it like sort of uh, reconnecting with Colin and uh, Renee again? And why is Patrick such a great foil for... Well, we're all a big dysfunctional family, so getting back together is quite, it's quite funny. We all have the same old stale jokes and all of that. So, um, and then Patrick, we had to bring Patrick in. So we wanted to, him to be the all-American dream, the perfect foil for Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy is a uh, you know, very repressed, old world, and Patrick is all-American dream, new world, you know. So, um, and we, we love the idea that they wouldn't be enemies, that they were both quite good and they had this bromance going on until they learned that they both might be the prospective fathers to a child. So. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Sorry. I messed up so many of those. Oh,